Okay, guys, it's been a couple of days. My headset ran out of juice because, well, I'm simply not using it. And I uh, reloaded it, and we're back in here, and lo and behold, there's an update. Will this work? Let's figure it out. I'm updating right now. Okay, we restarted our headset with our new upgrade. Let's take a look at what it is. It's... Um, and we are currently running version 59, 172, 706, 53, 54, 29.03.8. And the runtime version is uh, 29.024. And now comes the moment of truth. Let's take a look at the Wi-Fi. We are connected to our Wi-Fi 6E, 6 gigahertz, and let's go down to our speeds. As you can see, the transmit speed is not uh, full capacity. And it's still fluctuating. But it might have been improved. It's built, now it's pretty high, though. Now we're down to 14. Let's see if it goes any down any further. Now, realize I'm not connected to a virtual desktop or uh, AirLink or anything. I'm not even streaming to my PC. I'm just recording locally on my headset. And you can see that it's still fluctuating. So this uh, didn't fix it. It might have improved it. Uh, I'm going to try and play some games on it to see if it actually helped anything. But yeah, you can see that it's still an issue. So yeah, now we're down to 1200 uh, megabytes per second. So still, it's still usable. 17. Icons aren't really showing really fastly here. Where is that virtual desktop? Probably higher. Virtual desktop, where are you? What the hell? There it is, all the way down the bottom. Are you trying to fix that meta? Are you trying to push it down so people won't use it? Uh, create a new boundary. Into our stream here. Sure, we have it. So you can go to. Okay, so while doing this test, as you see, I realized that my mic was cutting out and it's totally off sync, which has been a problem before when I'm recording uh, videos while uh, streaming to the PC, as you could see on my uh, Phasmophobia playthrough. So, uh, yeah, that's another issue. Might be something to do with virtual desktop, but uh, um, yeah, I don't know. But as you can see, I had it on uh, uh, ultra quality, uh, not godlike, and uh, 200 megabits per second. So we're going to try a bit of games to see how this fares. Let's just go continue. So as you can tell now, it's, uh, well, it's raining here because there's a hole in the ceiling. I actually didn't see that in my first playthrough because... <laughs> I didn't have this resolution in the Quest 2. That's pretty cool. And, uh, well, now it's down to 12. As long as it's uh, above 12, it should be fine. Especially if we're running at 200. And, uh, so far this looks great. Let's uh, let's try and uh, look for some, uh, some uh, things that we missed the first time around. I need my gun. Last time I had to play a bit before it actually dipped down below uh, unusable levels. We're still at 12, but as you can tell, there is still something wrong. It should stay at 24 all the time, but it's not dipping down below 12 now, which is a good thing, but it's still not stable. It should be better than this. I mean, I have a Wi-Fi 6E. I paid for a Wi-Fi 6E. I should have the full... 2400 megabits per second as long as it's dedicated and it is this headset is so cool when it's working the the resolution is beautiful there's still like this slight grayish area in the blackness but it's not as bad as quest 2 it's still not great it's not playstation 2 but it's uh, it's it's um, playstation vr 2 i mean it's uh, it's okay but it's not great but the, the crispness, you know, look at look at that texture when you can have ultra textures on and keeping this at 90 frames per second, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the experience is so much more immersive. I'm actually, um, 
Well, it's not stable. That's the wrong word to use. It's usable now. Which is pretty good. Hey! Zombies! Come here and get me! No? Oh well. Fine. You do you, I guess. Okay, but I'm actually quite hopeful. I might actually try to, to do a streaming game with this, because it's better. It's a lot better. So, uh, yeah. But there's still an issue, and I think TP-Link has the, the solution if you just want to talk with those guys and figure out how to get this perfect. Because you see, latency is still not 100%. It's still pretty, pretty high sometimes. Once again, let's try the 5 gigahertz this time. Now I'm going to go into settings and we're going to go, no, no, there, we're going to go to Wi-Fi. And we're going to connect to another Wi-Fi, search for networks. There we go. And we're going to go into our AirBridge because that's a dedicated 5 gigahertz network. You can see that transmit speed is, uh, well, 1080. It was at 800, now it's now to 720, so that's still unusable, pretty much. We can take a test here on the virtual desktop just to check. So generally speaking, as long as it's over 800, which is the speed of a regular uh, Wi-Fi 5 network, it should work pretty well. But as you can tell, it's still very unstable going up and down like crazy. I don't know why I feel like I need my gun, but... Uh, I don't feel safe. Do some target practice. Can I shoot something? Oh, something I can shoot. Like, can I shoot the base there? Maybe? I can, but it doesn't break. What about the bell? Nope. So we're at 8, 6, 4, 9, 6, 4. Again, it should be at 1200. But this is actually not so bad. Move my headset around. So somehow, it's not stable, but it's a lot better. It's like it's not uh, dipping down below 800, which is good, because that means that you can actually use it in 5 gigahertz as well. But it's not stable, so it's not fixed, but it's better. Nope, now we're down to 720. Oh, and up again, good. So we, don't need, we need to do a lot more extensive testing to see if this actually stays that way, or if it has a problem. Okay. Yeah, okay, so... Both the 5 GHz and the 6 GHz network have been, had some improvements. They're still not stable. They're running up and down like crazy. And uh, I won't really say that this is fixed or usable until I've actually tested this for an extended period of time. But it should remain stable at 1400 or 1200 megabits per second, and it's not doing that right now. But, under testing it right now for this very short amount of time, I managed to not dip below 1200 on 6 gigahertz, and I did not dip below 800 on the 5 gigahertz. So that makes it usable, but still not very aligned. So, I still hope that Meta is looking into this and trying to fix this, and I hope they can work with TP-Link to fix this, because they should be stable and should be perfect. Okay, stay tuned to this channel, and I'll keep you updated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. Please do that. I'm really close to 10,000 subscribers. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you next time.